Electricity. Today we're going to talk about electricity. It's pretty cool. It powers most of your toys. What I have behind me is called Jacob's Ladder. And it is two copper wires that are separated and then you run electricity through them and a spark jumps between them. That spark heats up the air and that air rises and it carries the spark up in the air with it as it goes. And the rods separate as they go higher, giving us a wider and wider spark. It looks pretty cool. And it's a great introduction because today we're going to talk about electricity and the electric force. So we've got a 2 by 4 here and I'm going to show you the strength and power of the electric force, the force between um, electrons and protons and force between protons and protons and so on like that. So uh, if I take this plastic rod here and rub it with a piece of rabbit fur, I can get a charge on it. And once I have a charge on it, all the plus all the minus the charges where the charge can attract this giant 2 by 4 here. You can see that I'm not touching the 2 by 4 at all, but I can pull and pivot this entire 2 by 4 with just the electric force. And electricity also comes in the form of lightning, which is pretty cool. Lightning's cool, but you don't want to get hit. So, if you're in a car, are you safe from electricity? Well, safe from lightning. Yes, you are. And why? Not because of the tires. Not because of the rubber tires, but because you are in a cage of metal. I have here a cage of metal. And so if I hop in there, I'm fairly safe from lightning. What happens is that electricity passes around the outside of an object and it usually does not pass through an object. Okay? It passes around the surface. So if you're inside a cage of metal, you are safe from electricity. We can demonstrate that by getting inside this cage with a radio. If I turn on the radio and hop in the cage, the electromagnetic waves that light transmit, which is radio waves are a form of light, uh, cannot get inside the cage. So I turn on my radio and get in the cage. It should stop working. We're kind of getting some music here. We'll get in the cage. Turn it on, and we got nothing, nothing at all. Here I'm in the cage. In fact, I'm protected even if I touch the wire. The wire here, if I touch it and then I get shocked the cage, the electricity will flow around the outside of the cage and won't shock me. It's pretty cool. Now if I come back out, radio works. Now it doesn't. Radio works. No, it doesn't. So, if you were in a car and your radio wasn't working, you have actually, if you're going to design a car, you need to make sure that the antenna to the radio is somewhere outside the metal of the car. This is Dr. Carlson coming to you from a cage of metal at Purdue.